Hey y'all, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. Levi is here with us. It has been a hot minute since he has been on my channel. And as he's here eyeing all of the mess on my desk, I'm reminded why it's been so long. But he has about like 15, 20 minutes before he needs to go to bed. I have a lot of stuff to do once he goes to bed. So I was like, you know what? This video is a little bit easy. Maybe he'll sit on my lap for at least half of it and that'll help mom out a little bit. So here he is. You guys always say you guys like when he's in videos. So now you're in a video. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while since he's sat here. So we'll see how this goes. But anyway, today I wanted to share with you guys my Black Friday haul. It has been a while since it was Black Friday. I forget exactly the date. I think it's like the 12th. Or the, no, no, it's like the... I forget what day it is. It's like the 15th or something. I've lost all track of time doing Kate Miss. But anyway, I finally got my last order. What's you? But anyway, I finally got my last order that I ordered around Black Friday. The, the order was actually the first one because I ordered it on Thanksgiving Day from ColourPop and it just showed up. So I've been waiting for that to do a haul because I like to do them every year and share with you guys what I got for Black Friday. Yeah, it's like I'm talking to you, right? You say, well, who else are you talking to, Mama? I'm the only one here. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and sit down with you guys and do it. There's only three places that I ordered, three different um, companies that I ordered from so it shouldn't take too long I tried to be really conservative it also helped too that at the time of Black Friday happening whoa I knew I was going to be doing a lot of you know revisiting older palettes for Kate Miss and also I knew a lot of new palettes were coming in so I tried to talk myself out of most of the sales that were happening and I somewhat succeeded so like I said I only made three purchases and yeah let me find him something to chew on so he doesn't pull everything off my desk and we can jump right into it Okay, so let's do the one that I only bought one palette from. I bought a palette from Certified. Can you believe it? I feel like Certified has been on my wish list since I began here on YouTube. Whoa, yes, thanks, bub. And I finally caved and I bought their blue-green palette because they were on ridiculous sale, even with shipping. I think it was under $20. So I finally bought the Affinity 2 palette. Oh my goodness. This is the first time I'm opening it. I've been so busy. But look at that palette. I know I'm not going to be touching this until the new year, but I'm just so excited. This is a palette that I have eyed for so long. I forgot that the cover had word. This says dream without fear, love without limits. The Affinity 2 palette from Certified. There's what the cover looks like. The back is the same and there's no mirror, but there is a gorgeous color story. Those greens with those blues. Oh, I'm excited. You're welcome. I am excited. This one also down here, the shimmer, it looks to be like a duochrome, kind of like that green brown. Ooh, I am excited. I am so tempted to swatch this, but I'm not going to swatch it for now. When I do try this out in January, probably January, February, um, let me know if you guys want a video on it. It's a super old palette. I, I mean, I, ha I feel like I haven't heard anything from Certified or about Certified in so long. I'm just like, are you guys okay over there? So I don't even know if there'd be any interest at all in videos with the Certified palette, but let me know and maybe I'll do it. Okay, so he wants to get into some palettes I have on the floor, which will be fine until he figures out how to open it. But let's go ahead and open the next box while he figures that out. Anyway, next up I have from ColourPop. This took so long to get here. Oh my goodness, it took forever to ship, and then it took forever to get here in the mail, which I understand the mail is super slow. But anyway, I bought, oh, let me throw that down there for you. I bought the ColourPop Fade Into Hue palette. Everyone's been getting their palette, and I've been just drooling over everyone's looks that they've created. I cannot wait. This just came in today. That's why I'm filming this. You can not get those things in there. I don't know why you try. Ooh, here's what looks like the fade into hues and the color pop are raised as well as all of the boxes on the back that says the name of it. They're all raised. I love that effect. I think it feels so cool. But anyway, let's look in here. Oh, I have a little bit of an oopsie with the blue glitter, which isn't a big deal. It's not, it's not broke or anything. It just got a little crushed. But there is the palette. Look at that color story, right, bub? We have three glitters, which I want to play with one of them because I have an idea of how I could wear it without me freaking out the whole day I'm wearing it. So I'm going to do a look with one of the glitters, but mostly I'm just going to enjoy this palette for all of the color. And oh, this is so very beautiful. Like I said, I feel like a lot of people have been getting their palettes and already getting their videos up. Do you want to see me do a look with this? It probably wouldn't be till the very end of the month slash into January sometime, but let me know if you want to see a look. I asked on Instagram what you would like to see more, and more people said they prefer to see a three looks, one palette with this than a first impression, just one look with it. So let me know. Would you rather just one look and a first impressions, or would you like more in depth and a three looks, one palette. And then because you know it's me, I had to order another palette to get free shipping because I'm like that. And I ordered the new Big Poppy palette. Not so much because this palette intrigued me because I feel like ooh, a little bit of shadow. Oh man, come on. 
I'll have to see if I can clean that up. Um, not because like this color story really intrigued me though. I do think this color story is very pretty. When it comes to neutrals, this is the color story that would excite me because it has that orange, the burntish orange mustards in it. But I thought it'd be nice to give it as a gift or include in a giveaway. So I figured, you know what? You don't need another palette, Katie, but you can still get free shipping. It's really cool that the edges of the flowers up here are embellished in gold. I think you guys can see that. Yeah. Ooh, so pretty. As are the outside. The outside has gold around the flowers. He is into that ColourPop box. And then the words have the gold edging around it. ColourPop has really been killing it when it comes to their packaging and presentation and feel of their palettes. Like, like I feel like this should cost way more than what it did. And this one too. I just feel like they feel and look so nice. I'm impressed. Okay, hopefully the background noise isn't too annoying, but next, the last order that I did, which was the main order that I knew I was gonna do on Black Friday, was Give Me Glow, because I bought their new palettes. I'm so excited. This is the Give Me Glow Sweet and Sticky palette. I cannot wait to get into these. I've been looking forward to them so much. He's trying to shut the box and it keeps popping up on him every time he gets it in. Oh, keep trying, little man. But anyway, here's a sweet and sticky palette, and I know you guys know what it looks like inside. It is a neutral palette, but it's a neutral palette that I can get excited for. It has a really dark matte up here. It has a gorgeous, like, icy, icy shimmer that's going to be beautiful. And this shade also, while it's more of a neutral than I, you know, tend to get into these days, I really like how blinding it is. And then these three, I feel like it's just going to give me some really interesting all matte looks that I will be down for. Should we swatch this real quick? I haven't swatched any of the palettes, but... I'm so tempted. You know what? Let's go ahead and swatch this one. This only has six. I can swatch it, I think, without getting into too much trouble with the little man. Let's see. We got one. I'm doing it on my knuckles here, so it's going to be a little bumpy. I got to say, I'm a huge fan of it only having two shimmers and all the mattes. You guys know I love working with mattes. Ooh, that matte. And then last up down here on the weirdest part. Oh, so blinding. Yes, I cannot wait. I know it's neutral and when you look at it, it's kind of boring, but I feel like I'm going to get a couple really fun looks. And also, I mean, the biggest reason I bought it is because it's Gimme Glow. I know I love their formula and the packaging is cute. And at this point, like with Gimme Glow, I feel like I've missed so many of their other releases. I just kind of, not that I'm a collector, but if I'm vaguely interested in a palette, I'm going to get it because I love their formula so much and I love their packaging. And like I said, this color story, I feel like I can get some really pretty looks that will be right up my alley when it comes to my tones of neutrals. Oh no, he's come over to the palettes on my bookshelf. Ah. And then I also got the Vivid Rose palette, which this baby is huge. Like it is a serious palette. I am impressed by the size. Anyway, so it's Vivid Rose, really nice and vibrant, gorgeous flowers, roses on the other side. And here is what the palette looks like. You guys know I'm not into purples and pinks. However, if it's Give Me Glow, I am into purples and pinks because I know they're going to give me some awesome color. And like, can we talk about how hot pink that is? I'm not going to be swatching this whole palette just because I'm pretty sure I would get in trouble with the little man down here because he would get super fussy right when I had a whole arm of swatch but I gotta swatch this. I mean, look at that. Oh, so intense. Give Me Glow does mattes so, so well, and I cannot wait to dive into this one. This is another palette where I feel like most people have already gotten their reviews out before I even got the palette, and then now that I'm just like so behind on videos and like recording for videos and, you know, using palettes and whatnot for videos for the end of Kate Miss because I got sick. It's been a whole deal. So I'm really behind on getting to use these. So I don't know if I'm going to do a dedicated video for either of these palettes, but let me know. I'm definitely going to be using them in January and I'm definitely going to be reviewing them at some point on my channel in a palette palooza review. But if you would like to see dedicated videos, let me know. If not, I might just skip on doing dedicated videos. I don't know. I'm torn because I feel like I'm pretty late to get videos out for those. Okay. And then because I am just a fanatic when it comes to Give Me Glow, I also placed a couple other, not placed a couple, I also got a couple other things in that, in my order. Uh, yeah, Gimme Glow was the most expensive because I always go crazy on Gimme Glow. I got two of their Vivid Lip Paints. These two really intrigued me. This is Darla and Ginger Spice. They are both, this is a lip gloss and this is a Vivid Lip Paint. I remember I wanted to try one of their glosses and one of their lip paints. They look really pretty. Let me see how much trouble you're getting into. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, we're good. Let me swatch it real quick. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, I love that. I wanted a very cool tone type of, this is the the lip paint. So I think this one dries down. And then the gloss, which is Ginger Spice. Yeah, this one looked a lot more warm on camera or like on their pictures. There's that. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but definitely a lot more 
warm. So yeah, I really want to try a warm and cool tone from them, and these are pretty. I also got one of their magnetic palettes because of the packaging. A Give Me Glow just does it so well when it comes to visual. Like, I don't think this is anything spectacular or, like, unique when it comes to a picture or, like, you know, what's you're going to design a palette. However, this is just so pretty. I couldn't help myself, and I want to stick. I think I'm going to put their uh, pastel collection in here. I feel like that will be really pretty, but I just, I, it is so pretty. I wanted to get it and put something in there, so I think I'm going to put their pretty in pastel collection that's coming out in a palette next year. I cannot wait. I'll be buying that in a palette, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, that, I bought that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, he found my highlighter palette, and he dug his fingers into the palette. Give me a minute. Okay, Whew, crisis averted. He is clean now. Let's see, you want to help me unwrap this? I bought a couple of their singles, so it's like wrapped up. I think he likes to tear things. Can you pull it? Yeah, you want to pull it? What could it be? I bought three. Isn't it bad that I've forgotten? Like, I've been so busy this month. This was one of the first things to come up, come in in the mail from my Black Friday haul, but I've been so busy. I just checked to make sure the palace didn't come damaged, and then I haven't been able to touch it. It's so sad. But anyway, I am looking forward to playing with these in January when Kate misses over. But let's see. I got... I can't even read them inside here. Let me, let me open it. Oh, where do you want to go? Yeah, you want to get into more? Okay, we officially ruin these but I actually think that the bottom one was drying and the top one was staying glossy. Let me see was that right? Yeah Darla was the lip gloss. Okay and then the the ginger spice was the I got those switched around when I was swatching them so sorry but yeah it does appear that the lip paint dries down so I like that. I got mojito because I wanted to see how it compared with their um what their pastel the green. I feel like it's a little bit different. Anyway that was more of a spur of a moment purchase. Uh, I also got gifts galore oh she swatched this on her instagram and it seemed like so blinding yet you turn it so dark i'm so curious to do a super smoky eye with a very vibrant very bright like as bright as i can go with a crease and then just smoke it out with this on the lid i feel like that'll be beautiful i'll swatch them all in a second here he's at the box again so we are good He's not into my palettes. Um, and then I also got Sour Apple. You guys, this probably comes as no surprise that I picked up Sour Apple because, like, <gasps> I feel like Sour Apple and Lemon Lime, I think, is the other shimmer that's, like, more of a lime shimmer. Definitely two of my top favorites from Gimme Go. They're just so bright. Oh, my goodness. Look at those. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, he's into one of my mirrors. That's fine. I am so stained. I don't have time to clean up. So let's put it here. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Tell you, they're shimmers are my absolute favorite because their shimmers are just like all metallic and I love it. So easy to apply with a brush, which is my preference. Oh my goodness, look at that. This one looks a little bit more flakier than I feel like the other one is or that I'm used to with Give Me Glow's formula, but still looks workable and really pigmented. Just look how blinding and beautiful. Yeah, definitely very, very flaky. So I'm going to hopefully use that with a glitter glue and I won't have any problems, but just look at that. So beautiful. Let me get cleaned up and see what he's into. Yeah, I guess we made it to the end. He didn't seem like you're, he's just having so much fun here destroying my room. I mean, granted, mommy's little makeup table area is already destroyed, so it doesn't take all that much time because mommy doesn't have any time to clean it up in December. But he's making the chaotic mess that I work in every day even more chaotic. Okay, but yeah, that is everything that I got for Black Friday. Like I said, I try not to go too crazy. Gimme Glow is definitely the place where I kind of just went a little crazy and everywhere else I was like, okay, come on, Katie, hold back. Can you be sensible for once? But I'm super excited to have two new palettes from Gimme Glow. I love their formula. You guys hear me rave about them all the time. But yeah, that is my haul. Hey, you come back for the outro here. I think he was on the way to get into my face palettes that he got his hands all into before. Oh yeah, look at him looking down it. But here, he's gonna join us for the outro. Say hello. But yeah, that is gonna do it for today's video. He is now, should be well and tired. Oh yes, he wants to get my palettes so very much. He is the most determined little boy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I feel like you guys are always commenting how much you miss seeing the kids in the videos, especially Levi, because I showed him a lot his first year, you know, just trying to do YouTube. But while being a mama, I'd show him sometimes so I hope you guys enjoy getting to see him once again and I'm gonna go ahead and do this outro really short because he's sitting here holding my pastel pup palette from Menagerie and I am not willing to let that be sacrificed but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed getting to see what I got from Black Friday from my Black Friday shopping 
Uh, let me know what you would like to see first. As I already kind of told you going through the video, you know, I was asking for your feedback. Please let me know what you would kind of prioritize. Like if you could only pick one thing, one type of video you would want to see from all of these palettes, which one would it be and what type of video? That definitely really helps me in deciding what to focus my energy on. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below in the comments. Give a thumbs up for Levi if you enjoyed seeing him. Don't know how often that'll happen now that he is very mobile and in the short 20 minutes that I have been filming, he has further destroyed my room, but I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see him again. He is about to turn one, roughly might even be one. He's about to turn one, and I cannot believe it. It's been a whole year, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy getting to see him. But yeah, with all that said, if you want to continue getting daily content from me, I'm over on Instagram. I'm LadyKitty92. I didn't even say it in the beginning, but if you like my makeup, stay tuned next week. I have a video coming showing how I got it. It's very... Christmas, I thought. But anyway, with all that said, that is going to do it for today's video. You want to come up here and say goodbye real quick? And with all that said, say, we'll see you next time. Yeah, he is absolutely not interested in say goodbye. But with all that said, I will see you very soon in my next video tomorrow. Say bye!